It's one of the greatest cricketers of all time and arguably one of the second to great Gary Sobers as an all-rounder when Protea legend Jack Scalis speaks people listen. Now the icon who's in India to be a part of the Legend T20 series spoke exclusively to Times Network's Karishma. Let's listen in. Joining us is former South African great Jack Callis. Callis, thank you so much for being here on the Times Network firstly. Yeah, great. Thank you. The Legends League cricket. Tell me about your association with it and how is it playing competitive cricket yet again? Yeah, it's, it's been uh, been good fun catching up with the boys again. Um, it's been enjoyable so far. Um, so looking forward to the rest of the tournament. I think we all are. Uh, it's nice to catch up and play some good competitive cricket again. Um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to having some more fun. And uh, Jack, we're talking about a heavy cricketing season as well. South Africa is expected to come to India as well for a T20 a series. It is going to be the perfect warm-up just before the T20 World Cup. Yeah, it is. It's, it's nice that the guys are going to get some cricket uh, coming up before that World Cup. So important preparation, even though the conditions will be very different. But you know, it's still good to be playing that competitive cricket in that format for a big tournament like that. And you know, we are uh, talking about the T20 World Cup, one of the biggest tournaments happening post-COVID in uh, Australia, of course, India versus South Africa on 30th of October. What are the key battles uh, that you're looking ahead to? Um, again, in big games like that, you need to dominate um, you know, the important parts. In, in each game, the, the pivotal points that come where you have to play it better than opposition, you need to recognize those. So, um, yeah, hopefully we'll recognize those and, and play it better than opposition. But now you need a bit of luck to go your way in those type of tournaments as well, and, the, and in the big games. So, but I know South Africa will be prepared and it'll be a great game to watch. And head to head, if, if I talk about uh, India versus South Africa, it is 4-1 in the T20 World Cup tournaments in India's favour. Do you think South Africa possibly can change it this time around, this scorecard? Uh, I hope so. Um, I think given the conditions, um, probably suits Africa a little bit more with the bounce here wickets. But um, you know, India has travelled the world and done well, so it'll be a tough side to beat. So, I mean, India going in there, to be fair, is probably one of the one of the favourites. So, um, not a bad tag to go in as one of the underdogs, even though South Africa's played some real good cricket lately. But their performance in the T20 format of late hasn't been the best or up to the mark, if we can say, if you talk about the Asia Cup, some of the top cricketers, uh, you know, not performing up to the standards that the people expect them to, uh, Virat Kohli, a case in point. So uh, if I talk about the Indian batting lineup, what do you make of it? We have Rohit Sharma, KL Rahul, uh, Virat Kohli at the top. Yeah, you don't want to peak too early before a tournament, so it's no use playing good cricket, um, you know, leading up and you don't play good cricket in the T20. So. I'm sure it was um, finding out combinations and what, um, but now the guys will know their roles with the sides being picked. Um, yeah, so I can expect you know the Indian side to be back to where it belongs. And Jacques, your perspective on Virat Kohli, the player that he has been, and the sort of criticism that he's faced in the last few months for the rough patch uh, that he's gone through, obviously scored uh, now against Afghanistan. But there's a lot that has been said about uh, Virat Kohli. He's also come out and said that if you mean it, then you say it to me, otherwise it doesn't matter to me. So that sometimes happens when you're playing that amount of cricket at the level that Virat Kohli plays. Yeah, look, you're always going to go through a little patch when you play as much cricket as, as what the international players do now. Um, you know, he'll know how to deal with it um, and what's important to him. Um, you know, I'm sure he isn't listening too much to what's being said about there, as he shouldn't be. Um, he knows what he needs to do and, you know, good players always come through. So it'll be no surprise to me if he has a good tournament. And any words of advice for the Indian team before they go into the T20 World Cup? We have a lot of young blood as well in uh, Rishabh Pant, a lot of expectations from him as well. Uh, look, as a, a team in a World Cup is always going to be under pressure and the key is how you deal with it. Um, you know, but the team will have strategies and, and know how to go about and, and their ways of dealing with it and what they want to do and achieve. The role definition will be really important. Um, but yeah, I suppose it's like any tournament, go out there and enjoy it. and. Obviously, try and do your best and play the key moments better than the opposition. And there's also going to be a sense of normalcy. We'll have fans in the stadium. The two years have been hard for everyone. Slowly and steadily, countries are opening up. Stadiums are being filled up. So this is one of the biggest tournaments that's happening in a post-pandemic world, if we can say. So it's going to be exciting for the fans. It is, yeah. And I think for the players as well, it's, it's not nice playing when there's no atmosphere. So I think the players will be looking forward to it. I know the fans will be looking forward Without to it. Without the so. bio bubble. Yeah, it, it was a horrible time to live in. It's nice to be past it now and, and we can be back to some sense of normality. 
And uh, Jack, lastly, before I let you go, uh, your top four for the World Cup would be? I'm going to throw South Africa in there because I'm of South course. African. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose India's got to be up there as well. Um, England's played some good cricket. And the fourth one's a tough one. Um, Australia being at home, it's tough to form at home, but they know the conditions. Um, maybe those four, but then again, I've learned from World Cups, anything can happen. So I think it's the nice thing about this World Cup. I think it's pretty open. Anyone can come in and win it. And there's a lot of talk about West Indies also being unpredictable like they are. Sri Lanka has played some very good cricket in Asia Cup, winning that. So they're also going to be uh, unpredictable but important teams to take note of. For sure. Um, if I was a betting man, I could put my <laughs> money on anyone. I would say put it on anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and any players that you're specifically looking forward to see perform or you're happy that they're getting an opportunity to be at this global platform of a T20 World Cup? Uh, again, just seeing any all the players perform at a, at a uh, in a venue where it's nice and full, there's good atmosphere, and the players are no doubt looking forward to it. Um, first big tournament after a pandemic, like you said, so I think the guys will be keen to get out there and perform and, and show what they're made of. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.